What's up, YouTube? It's your boy H Town 392 coming to you with my other load, another military load coming to y'all with it again. Here we go with my load for today. We got three trailers with some equipment boxes right here with that one. So as you see, I end up getting me some straps, strapping the load down, which is one pallet. So you're gonna need one strap on this one one strap because of the, the width of this one is under five and this one here so i didn't have no way to put downward pressure on this load here so i end up going for pulling backwards right here and same thing for the other side then we come down with this one over here downward pressure but pulling forward so I got my, my snap binders with bungee cars. As you see right here, these two chains are touching each other. So we put friction mats. We call these friction mats. It ain't nothing but like some piece of felt that's in between those. Ain't that good? And as you see, these are what we call direct. So direct me from this point to the trailer direct tie down same thing direct tie downs and that's what those are for these are ratchet binders these are for three eighths ratchet binders the working load limit for those are is going to be 45 44 for 5400 is the working load limit for this one and the snap binders is going to be the same thing, working load limit. So each one of these trailers weigh about no more than, I think a thousand pounds, what it was, if I'm not mistaken. But let's see what it say up there. I'm looking at this plaque right here. It look like it don't give you no information of no wages inspection date. So here we go again with direct tie down and as you see that's all three trailers and then I end up getting some snap some new snap binders now these snap binders back here are supposed to be real good right here these right here which is five sixteenths and three eighths and I want to say let's see what it says six thousand six hundred pounds so this is that right there so yay this is the load that we have for today delivering this tomorrow down to a base so as y'all might know from my last video we did home v's so this is what we do over here where i'm at now this is a new company i just started back with i left them went somewhere else and came back and now I'm back doing what I love to do. So this is what I do. I carry military loads. You might see different loads later, but this is it right here. This is my second load. Now let's step up into this doggone headache rack. Let's see what we got up here. Now, this is just one end of my trail truck. So my headache rack, I carry eight foot tarps. These are my eights over here straps up here bungee cards let's get over into this headache rack here this headache rack these are some ratchet binders i just got they pretty good haven't used them yet as you see the tags are still on them let's see what the working load limit of this one is working load limit is 71 7 100 and three eighths as you see, I carry 3 8 chains and 5 8 chains in the back. People like to know, what are these right here? These are ICC blocks for my trailer. I carry a step deck trailer. So on my step deck trailer, I put these up under there. And that keeps my trailer from bending. I also carry hazmat. These are my hazmat signs. We go up there. Up a little bit more stuff. I keep tape measure back here for straps for rolling up 
rubber bands for my these are my rubber bands here for my straps I always keep extra um, cheetah bars and stuff like that this is a pole for pulling chains and pulling different things up so that's that headed rack right there let's go to the next one So let's go to the next head at Greg. This head at Greg is my portable ratchets, portable ratchet holders, two inches, my smoke tarp, my six inch, six foot drops, tarps. I carry OD, the oversized loads. This is my oversized right here from that and oversized loads. With oversized, you don't need strobe lights. So there you go. I have strobe lights up there. And if you want to know what that is, that is I have direct TV in my truck. And let's get it. Military loads. I carry a lot of military loads from this company that I work with now. And you might know who that is. But this is my military load. So, you two, come join the joining with me. And let's get this money. And as an owner-operator, just want to know to y'all new drivers. If you want to know how to get to something, get out of the lease purchase program. Get your own truck, get your credit up, and let's get on this money. We know fuel prices is high, but let's get it. There's always a way of getting it. Let's get it. H-Town 392 out in Mississippi.